absolutely love this little bait shack place. So cute. Today? We do. You got fiddler crafts? You don't? <laughs> <laughs> that was do exciting. <laughs> I, I should have been a lot quicker on that one. Hey, how do you pronounce the Yeah, how do you say the name? Genungs, right? Genungs. Yeah. Yes. Genungs. Who won that bet? I don't, probably him. <laughs> but, I always uh, say it wrong. Let's do three dozen shrimp. Three dozen shrimp? Yeah. Sure. Look at the flounders up there. Sweet. What else do we want? Water. Water. T-shirt. What else? Do we need anything else? No. We have ice. When in doubt, buy two of everything. I probably have like it's a five good motto. of everything someplace. Go throw them oyster shells. See oh. What they're doing, they save their shells out for an oyster roast and they're going to go put them back on the oyster reef. Oh yeah. Do they want me to make a chandelier? Not with those ones. Probably not. I feel like that would be a very smelly hey. chandelier. Hey. Clams too? Yeah. I wonder where they got those. It says cash fishing pot. Yeah. $1 entry fee before entering your fish. I wonder how old that is. I mean, this place has been here forever. Yeah. It says night, September 6, 1965 on the bottom over there. 65? Yeah. <laughs> It'll be the key to our fishing success today. It's like two to four baits. The moat's already gone. No, it's in there. Okay. find out. It's a little red. Little red. Very nice. Maybe a cute oh. red. <laughs> you wanted to get off that hook bad. Is it maybe a keeper red or no? no. It's too small. Look at the how pretty their tail is this time of year. Let them go. Oopsies. Hooked up again. It's those, those shrimp from, uh, what's the place called again? <laughs> I can't ever say it right. Look at the red. same fish. Yeah. Look how blue his tail is in the water watch. Look at how blue. Yeah, that's really cool. So pretty. That's a really pretty fish. I might have to switch to shrimp. My mud crabs are not uh, lucky. I think there's just probably a bunch of little rats here. It's okay, it's still fun. Willing to bet it's a redfish. <laughs> Is it a dinner sized redfish? I hope so. Looks a little small. It might be. Eight. Got him, babe? Yeah. Come on, fishy. I bet he's 16 inches. I wonder if we're just catching the same one over and over again. No, he's only about. 
caught the one with the blue tail. <laughs> I would say they all have blue tails, but that's not true. Goodbye. Tell your friends. That tastes good. These fish taste good. You are now three to one fish. This might be a better fish. It looks like it's already fighting as a better fish. What is it? A little dinker. Still? Gosh. Barely hooked. Ooh, he's got a double spot. I wonder if we get a video of that. Bring it over. Pretty tails. Oh yeah? Uh-oh, maybe we shouldn't go yet. What size do they have to be? 15 inches. Okay. It should be short, but... Yeah. Oh, listen to them. Drop in. A nice little fish, though. <laughs> Hopefully a keeper. Yeah. Something for dinner. Oh no, it's a keeper red. Is it? Yeah. Nice. You got the net right there by your feet. Yeah. Nice red. Two. One man show. It's <laughs> a nice like one too. That'll be our dinner. Very nice. With our we got oysters. oysters. We've got some crab. Snipe. We got snipe. It's gonna be a feast. Florida. <laughs> A pretty tail on them. A super dark too. Oh, there we go. Can you take me a picture? That absolutely. For the will. gram. For the gram. For the gram. What about for your thumbnail for this video? <laughs> if you don't lose them. I was trying to auto release. Yeah, for my thumbnail too. <laughs> Got the hot hand today. Hot rod. We're just bait fishing. When the water's cold, the fish are back in these creeks in the deep bends because the water temp stays more regular. It doesn't fluctuate up and down. We just had two pretty cold days in a row. But they're mostly little juvenile fish. Mm -hmm. So we've weeded through quite a few juveniles to get something for dinner. We haven't eaten redfish in a long time. No, I'm excited for that. Since the summer, at least. It'll be good. How much longer do you want to stay? I mean, I'm having a good time now. <laughs> you're catching all the fish. Yeah, now you know, usually you're the one that catches all the fish. And I'm like angry and you're just like, oh, it's okay. Oh, I got another one. Let's just stay a little longer. I don't sound like that. No, you don't. <laughs> It's up to you. We got dinner. We definitely have dinner. So. I did catch a redfish today. <laughs> Let's think about it. Leave this fish though. They don't need it, but I think any fish will uh, benefit from a good bleeding. It'll make the meat that much whiter. 
and uh, also help dispatch them. So hopefully that's not too graphic. Either. No, I didn't really record it. You too, but. <laughs> I didn't really re like record the fish. Oh, okay. So, but yeah, you you just cut their throat. That's where their heart is. And they'll bleed out really quickly. He'll go ahead and go to sleep, die. And the meat will be that much whiter. And like mm. I said, it doesn't really need it, but it can make it better. What's going on, man? Y'all get into them? Nah, we just got out here, ready to go. Two we, buddies caught two, but. we got a couple shorts right there. One keeper on that, that bank over there. Oh, so. caught, caught one real big one in here the other day. I haven't been fishing here much, but Dad has. Most big fish. Yeah, each day. There's this one spot, each tree around the corner, and they've been catching like six or seven good ones today. That's about it. You want a blue crab? Yeah, for bait. For bait? That's, that's what yeah. We're catching on trip too, but caught the bigger fish on blue crab. Thank you. No worries. Little pieces too. Yeah, I was getting like four or five baits out of one. Sweet crowd. Good luck, man. What's up, guys? Back home at the cleaning table here and. Uh, so we caught a bunch of rat reds and one good one for dinner. We came home to a bunch of stuff in the mail from like Christmas <laughs> Toadfish. Uh, I just partnered up with them and you guys are going to see a bunch of their products. I think they're a super cool company. They have a bunch of really useful stuff, stuff that uh, I'm going to use every day. Um, they've basically taken a bunch of things and just made them really useful or better mm -hmm. uh, so starting out they sent me their fillet system I'm super excited for this thing um, for like camping and on the boat like eating out at sandbars and stuff like that so what it is is a see that a stowaway cutting board um, what's cool about it is it's got your knife sharpener for your fillet knife right there and you can stow that away in a hatch on the boat or something. Don't take up a ton of space. Uh, and then you can make your lunch or fillet your fish or whatever. And you're not tearing up the top of your cooler or anything like that. Your gel coat. Uh, toadfish is cool because they give back to the environment. Um, a certain percentage of everything you spend with them goes back to oyster habitat and restocking fish. Uh, so this kit also comes with a fillet knife. I've never seen a fillet knife like this, but I think it's pretty cool. You know, safety wise, you know, I've, I've always got a bunch of fillet knives just floating <laughs> around inside my boat. Uh, that's quite a bit safer there. And it's got a little hook on it. You can hook it different places or whatever. I'll probably keep it with a kit, but let's go grab the red thing. So we've got a fresh St. Augustine redfish for dinner. I'm gonna give this thing a go. Just like anything. Redfish are pretty tough with their scales. So come in down like this, then holding the head. I'm gonna come with this knife sharp. That's good. Yeah. Right down the back like that push down come out like so nice then I'm gonna take it I like to put my finger on the top of the knife like that so I can really feel what's happening on there at the tip of the knife so to speak makes it like an extension of my finger so 
just like so. Come down the other side, like that. And then you got some pin bones right there. Angle up, pop all those pin bones, and then fillet down this rib cage right here and get you a little bit of extra meat. So get it like that. Come like this, and you got a redfish fillet. I think Beautiful. that we might blacken these. What do you think? Mm, yes. In the cast iron. Mm -hmm. okay. Haven't had that in a long time. So I'm, I'm pushing down with the knife and pulling on the skin. This knife's super sharp right now, which makes it very easy. Yeah, it's a beautiful redfish fillet. Trim that, uh, trim these pin bones out like so. Man, the little sand knots are just showing up right now. Mm -hmm. Grab that, trim it out like that, and it's ready for dinner. I'm ready for dinner. I'm kind of hangry right now, <laughs> and the bugs are biting me. I am excited about this stuff and excited to show it to you guys. We have a couple of camping trips coming up. This is going to be awesome for camping. So <laughs> I've got these beautiful redfish fillets from okay. yesterday. Um, what I did is just kind of dried them off on a paper towel, and I'm going to cut them into portion sizes like so and what we're doing is black and redfish mm -hmm. uh, there is a technique to it um, and I feel like a lot of people just put like Cajun seasoning on fish and like oh that's blackened but it really isn't so um, we're going to show you how to do it properly but you can do it however you want really um so i got my fish and then what i have here is melted butter um take it and dip it down in the butter each piece mm -hmm. like so i'm excited for this we haven't had redfish in a while yeah, probably it, since summer it's been a minute for sure um drain off any excess put them back on your board Like so. Boom -ba -doom, boom -ba -doom, boom -ba -doom, boom -ba -doom. I'm trying to do this all in one single cut. I think you can do it. Then I've got Chef Paul's blackening seasoning. Redfish um, magic. Redfish magic. Chef Paul literally created blackening seasoning. So I feel no need to uh, argue with him on what's supposed <laughs> to be not, in blackening we're not seasoning questioning chef paul <laughs> i can make it i have made it but this stuff's good you can find it at publix or just about any grocery store so you want a liberal dusting for the proper because you're trying to get a crust on there um moving to the we're coming over here <clears throat> i've got a ripping hot cast iron pan mm -hmm. and it's gonna Smoke get it. smoky in here I should have opened a window before I started doing this, but oh well. <laughs> Go in with our pieces. Might have to do two batches, I'm not sure. I like to put my big thick pieces in the middle. Come in the sides with some smaller pieces. I think that sizzle. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to do those two pieces last. But okay. what I like to do at this point. Take a little bit more of your butter, drizzle, 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 oh, drizzle. Already smells so good. <laughs> and then season your other side. And we're ready for the flip. I want to show you guys something though. This is the ultimate spatula from Toadfish. Um, if you're gonna cook fish. Having a good spatula is super important. And this style of spatula, it's got some flex to it. It's got these, whatever you call it. These things, you know, a lot of times you try to flip fish and it falls apart on you. These things are amazing. Look at that, perfect. And look at that black crust. That 
is what blackened fish is supposed to look like. It's not supposed to be red. It's not supposed to be, you know, just some Cajun seasoning on there. It's blackened. They call it blackened for a reason. And it actually is, when you bite it, it should be a little bit of a crust. Um, but my ultimate spatula made that very easy. I recommend you guys get one. Um, I have a discount code that will be in the description um, as, long, as well as a link to Toadfish. They make a bunch of super cool stuff. Y'all check them out. But what I'm gonna do here, I've got some, this is Zatarain's Caribbean rice. I really like it. It has little pieces of- Did you say Caribbean? Caribbean. It's not Caribbean? It's one of those two things. <laughs> Um, I say Caribbean. I really like it because it's got like chunks of pineapple in it. It's kind of sweet. Maybe I guess Pirates of the Caribbean and the Pirate. Then I've got some <laughs> just Goya uh, black beans. A little trick there is I buy the black bean soup, um, not just the black beans. Heated that up like so. Come in. See that? And, and when you've got that fish flipper, it makes it just so easy to grab those delicate fillets and hold them all together. And uh, got some beautiful black and red fish. Delicious. Delicioso. We'll see you at the table. I'm hungry. Okay. It is time for dinner. Bianca taste test is happening. Um. Let's see what the 10 year old says. Squeeze a lemon. You're on. If you know Bianca, she likes her lemon. <laughs> she likes her fish too, mm -hmm. which is kind of my goal in life. So no crusty, dusty boys can try to impress her. Where did you learn the words crusty, dusty? Just eat the fish, tell us how it is. Remember, you're on a time crunch. Yeah. The people are waiting. <laughs> The people are waiting. <laughs> Gotta get a good piece for me. Sorry, people. I have to get my fish. Is it hot? Is it spicy? This is the best thing I've ever tasted in my whole entire life. You're just saying that. No, I'm not. It's so good. <laughs> is it really good? We haven't had redfish in a while, huh? I'm excited for she it. She can't get it in her mouth fast enough. <laughs> What do All you right. think? Did you try it yet? I haven't tried it yet. Let's okay, see. You try it. I mean, I know it's going to be good. I mean, usually <clears throat> with like redfish, I'd trim all that red out and stuff because this fish is less than 24 hours old. Or the, mm -mm. <laughs> and it, <laughs> it has that crust. It has a crust to it. You got to try it. And see if you I'm properly doing. blacken it um, and get a little bit of that red beans and rice in there. Get that with your... Uh, Those are black beans. Yeah, black beans and oh, rice. Yeah. I know what I'm saying, though, right? <laughs> it's all right in my head. It just comes out jumbled up. <laughs> One of my favorite meals. But... Here, hold on. If you've made it this far, please like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends. What is it? Write a letter. Yeah. Uh, contact your local government. Use your uh, homing <laughs> pigeon to tell some of your friends. That's so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Told you. So, what she said. We'll see you guys on the next one.